Hi, my name is Jason Campbell, head chef of Nagolfu. Welcome to our restaurant. Today we're going to prepare the lamb dish from our a la carte menu. So, here we have a best end of lamb. It's New Zealand lamb. Uh, this is a topping for the lamb. It's a breadcrumbs mixed with herbs, olive oil. The herbs we have parsley and mint. We have fresh peas that have just been potted and blanched. Dijon mustard, simple mashed potato, beetroot puree, diced beetroot, just cooked, and these are just our garnishes of the herbs. So this is our best end of lamb from New Zealand. It's already been cleaned. We're not gonna do too much to it. The bones are nice and clean. We want three cutlets. Now we're gonna take our lamb, we're gonna season it up and just seal it off quickly in the pan before roasting it in the oven. A lot of the salt and pepper will come off in the cooking, but the more salt and pepper you get on it now, the more taste will get into the meat. Hot pan, very important, olive oil, starting with the sides. We'll keep the skin side to last because we'll roast it skin side down in the oven for the first half of the cooking. Sealing it on all these sides will help us lock all the flavour and the juice in. Now onto the skin side. Big piece of butter. We'll get the bones coated to get more flavour in there. We'll start off five minutes into the oven at 190 degrees. Okay, so five minutes roasting, gentle start. We'll just give it a baste. Next step, turn the lamb, and we'll finish the cooking on this side. Take some really good quality Dijon mustard, a really strong one. We're going to paint the back of the lamb, nice and thick, adding lots of flavor, but also it's gonna help our herb breadcrumb mixture stick to the lamb. Breadcrumbs on the top, because there's olive oil in here also, it'll crisp up and go nice and brown. Now as the lamb is finishing the cooking, we can start to prepare the garnish. So first, we have a simple mashed potato, just butter and salt, that's all. Take our fresh peas, chicken stock, fresh butter, and we'll let those cook slowly. The butter will mount into the chicken stock and we'll glaze the peas so they'll be nice and shiny when we finish. Salt and pepper. Okay, so lamb's out of the oven, nice colour. It's been about seven minutes more, but now the most important part is to rest the meat. So we're gonna take it out, and rest it for a minimum of five minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna make our purple mashed potato. We've got a beetroot puree. We just cook the beetroots in water, vinegar, salt and sugar, and then blend it down. Straight into the mashed potato at the end for the best color. Now we have the same cooked beetroot, but not puree, just diced. Which is gonna go in for a nice consistency. Okay, for the plating, start with a ring in the middle of the plate. Our purple mashed potato, straight in the middle. A nicely glazed peas, which we're gonna finish with some chopped mint. Finely sliced at the last moment for a nice fresh taste. Just dot them around the plate. So this is our spring lamb with purple mashed potatoes and a herb crush, fresh spring peas. If you'd like to try it or anything else from us, come visit us at Nagolful.